What's up, Superhero? Superman, I want to here today is Monday, February 12, 2018. This is day 433, and starting with this vlog and every Monday from now on, I'm going to start doing a new series called Motivation Monday. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on here, and I'm going to find some motivational quotes. I'm going to go into Google Images and find some long motivational quotes. So let's see if we can find a really long one. Oh, okay, this one actually seemed pretty long. So, this one comes from Maya Angelou. I've learned that no matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. I've learned that you can tell a lot about a person by the way he, she, slash she handles these three things. A, randy, a rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree lights. I've learned that regardless of your relationship with your parents, you'll miss them when they're gone from your life. I've learned that making a living is not the same thing as making a life. I've learned that life sometimes gives you a second chance. I've learned that you shouldn't go through life with the catcher's mitt on both hands. You need to be able to throw something back. I've learned that whenever I decide something with an open heart, I usually make the right decision. I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be the one. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug. Or just a friendly pat on the back. I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And you know what? In order to make these videos a little bit longer, I'm going to read five motivational quotes every day. Every Monday. So here's another one. So it says, You are not your age, not the size of the clothes you wear. You are not a weight or the color of your hair. You are not your name or the dimples in your cheeks. You are all the books you read and all the words you speak. You are, the, you are your croaky morning voice and the smiles you try to hide. You're the sweetness in your laughter and every tear you've cried. And you're the songs you sing so loudly when you know you're all alone. You're the places that you've been to and the one that you call home. You're the things that you believe in and the people that you love. You're the photos in your bedroom and the future you dream of. You made it, you, you're made of so much beauty when it seems that you forget when you decide that you were defined by all the things you're not. Oh, that you, but it seems to forgot. It seems you forgot when you decided that you were defined by all the things you're not. This one's from Betty Howland. It says, For a long time it seemed to me that real life was about to begin, but there was always some obstacle in the way. Something had to be got had to be got through first, some unfinished business, time still to be served, a debt to be paid, then life would begin and last it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. Doesn't say a name for this one. It says, imagine there is a bank account that credits your account each morning with $86,400. It carries over no balance from day to day. Every evening, the bank deletes whatever part of the balance you failed to use during the day. What would you do? Draw out every cent, of course. Each of us has such a bank. Its name is time. Every morning, it credits you with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it writes off as loss. Whatever of this you have failed to invest to a good purpose. It carries over no balance and allows no overdraft. Each day it opens a new account from, from you, or for you. Each night it burns the remains of the day. If you fail to use the day's deposit, the loss is yours. There is no drawing against tomorrow. You must live in the present on today's deposits. Invest it so as to get from it that utmost in health, happiness, and success. The clock is running. Make the most of today. And I'm going to read this last one. It says, If matter cannot be created nor destroyed, everything you see around you was a present at the moment of creation, and you are a part of it. Fact is, those atoms in your body were once out in space among the stars, and now they make up you. 
If your brain were wild just a bit differently, your very personality wouldn't be the one you have today. Hell, if another one of your father's sperm got into that egg just a bit sooner, you wouldn't have been born. That way in which those atoms, cells, and stardust get together and made you will never happen again. You are unique and a rarity. There will never be another you. Now get up and celebrate that. <clears throat> My life is forever altered because of the motivational quotes you tweeted to all day long. Said no one ever. All right, that's it. So that's the start. Hashtag Motivational Monday. One. Thank you guys for watching. If you like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, of course you don't have to. I love each and every single one of you, and I will see you tomorrow.